and it's time to play today. I've got my friend Emily, and this is the part two. And this time we are decorating the jar. So you'll need a first of all, you'll need a hot glue gun. You might need help, so I'm just gonna add all. So Second, then you need your jar. So let your hot glue gun warm up. So what flower do you think we should do? What kind of flower should we do on the top? I think this one. Yeah, what do you think? Comment down below. But first, before we do anything, we're going to put the inside in, which is going to be black. So we're going to put a bead in. So what we're doing like is a bead in. in like the bead in, so it looks like the inside. Um, I think my hot wing one's warmed up. Guys, do not do what we're doing. I'm not sure I don't have a hot glue gun. If you don't have hot glue gun, use just normal glue. It's just it's easier for us because then it dries quicker. Like maybe some of this glue type kind of thing. It's just so it's um, a bit secure more. Yeah, and it's less likely to come off. Yeah, and drip all over your hands. And you might want to test it out on a piece of paper or something. So we're going to test it out. It works. Alright, that's good. Now, what if we decorate the lid too? That's the whole point. The flower goes on the lid. Ah. Putting hot glue on the, around the edge of the black so it sticks right onto the flower. Then we're adding some glue on the back of the flower. On the bottom mm. and sticking it on top. Oh, it's all stringy. Um, it's stringy. And I know. I know. Okay, mm. and that's all ready. And now we're going to add some here. Since it's nice. To... Mm. The reason why I'm putting it down is just so then it works easier. You There's I mean? a load of string over it. I know we're going to cut the string off at the end. And we'll cut the string off at the end. If you want to, you can do it now. Exactly. Yes. But we are not going to. But then it's not so hot when you've done yeah. it at the end. So you can, but we aren't. Oh. Right out. So... So that's a nice flower lid on top. And if you want, you can put all your little secrets inside. Yeah. Like Whatever jar you have, big or small, you can still do this. We like to do small ones. Kind of so small and a bit. I'm going to add some glue, and then I'm going to add the smaller flowers on. Yeah, we're going to add that all around. You could use it kind of like a jar diary. And Emily, we could paint some of it as well. Yeah, and it could also... No, I don't think we could paint it. Yeah, probably not. And you know what we could do? What? We could put like wishes in it. It could be a. W this is a wishing jar. Okay. Emily, can I let you go? I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm. The toilet. If you need them to see something, hold it up. But don't press the red button. It's upside down. So then, I'm just going to do that. No, we can't. Let's just put it. No, let's put it that way. Then no, we have to. Okay. So okay, we're all ready. I'll be back. Then. So we have two more spaces left for this flower. So add the glue. Put it in the middle. There. And then we're going to add the sides, of course. Like we did. So. Be careful if you have too hot glue because otherwise your glass can shatter. Just I'm not saying it in front of Abby because Abby kind of gets sometimes scared. And then we're going to put some hot glue on the tip and then the silver will bend. And it will make it hot. It will make it bendy.
and then I'm going to stick it on a wait a minute a lollipop stick Because it's called the Wissing Jar. So I'm going to do I'm adding quite a bit of glue. You burn yourself, kids. Or not. And nothing happened, okay? And nothing happened. So, um, this is going to be our wishing jar. And, um, let's go in our cart of wishes. And see what is in here. We can decorate it with some bits of gold paper. But now we are finished. I hope you guys saw that when it was resting. We are going to cut these off, off camera, so... Yeah, but now we are going to do some. Okay, this has been a long video. So, so bye. on part three, we'll show you.